Hey guys, and welcome to a battle featuring the mighty Consul of Rome, leading the forces of the Empire up against Slan Gold, also known as Noob for Life, leading the forces of Norska. An old school grudge match between two human factions, and it's been a matchup which has been pretty exciting for quite a long time, so let's hop in here and check out the builds. So a nice skirmish core up front. We do have double pistoliers here. These guys do pretty decent damage overall. Not very good armor piercing, but still pretty good skirmish there to try and push back enemy skirmish cavalry. Looks like we do have some Empire Knights as well dotted on the flanks and a unit of the Knights of the Blazing Sun in reserve. These guys a real MVP in this matchup. Skin Wolves are incredibly popular but have regeneration so the fire damage certainly helps out. Plus look how badass these knights are riding into battle with those flaming lances. Looks like in the front line we have a unbreakable front line for the most part. Flagellant mixed in with Sigma Suns, Regiment Renowned Swordsmen. It looks like we have Spearmen on either flank as well to help protect from enemy uh, horseback or kind of dinosaurs. Or dinosaurs, sorry, but monsters. We have a uh, double huntsman in the centre pocket as well as the silver bullets. Regiment of Renowned Hand Gunners who of course have Stork. So a very potent and deadly kind of range core here despite the fact it's only three units. And all of them though are Storks so of course the uh, Norsens don't know they're there yet. We also have an Amber Wizard as well coming in with Flock of Doom as well as the Manticore Summon of course. The most kind of one well, of the most powerful spells in the game if you're bringing a uh, Law of um, Beasts caster. On Amber Wizard, sorry, you uh, definitely want to be bringing the Manticore Summon. It basically makes sense in almost every single matchup. We have Volkmar the Grim as well, leading the forces, forces today. A pretty interesting pick all round. Grand Soulfire, Grand Shield of Faith, Grand Hammer of Sigma as well, coming with that banishment. Can certainly true through the enemy chaff very quickly, but has to be a little bit careful of being pinned in here by Famir and Skin Wolves. Although he does do fire damage, so he should be okay in those matchups. Now for the forces of the Norskans today, looks like we do have a bit of a skirmish core. Mordor horsemen with thrown axes are dotted all the way along the front line here pushing up. And for the main battle line we have a mixture of marauders as well as a marauder berserkers which makes perfectly good sense. These guys are going to be able to chew through enemy infantry incredibly fast, especially the berserkers who will uh, blitz through uh, Empire State Troops incredibly fast. As expected, we have a ton of skin wolves. It looks like we have two over there on the left-hand flank of this formation. And I'm assuming, yes, we have two more on the right-hand side as well. So four skin wolves. So fast, good durability considering their regeneration. Good against enemy cavalry and can chew through infantry forces as well. Down here we do have a Shaman Sorcerer of Death simply coming in with Spirit Leech and the mighty Frog the Troll King as he uh, swaggers into battle here. He's always got a very cool strut to hit to him here. He is coming in with the Windtooth Crown as well as Fight or Die. I believe there was just one last unit hidden somewhere. Here they are. We have Famir Warriors with great weapons as well. So I've told you, let's get this battle underway. So both forces are going to be advancing towards each other. And the Huntsmen have been revealed, but lovely Micro here by Noob for Life. Going to be pulling back his forces so they don't take too much damage. But it has caused them a bit of a problem. They're now going to have to wrap up all the way around if they want to get into some good engagements. You can see they're already on their way, but taking damage the entire time. Pistolets also push forward and the Silver Bullets are destroying Frog straight out of the gate. He uh, wants to fall back a little bit here. He does have regeneration though, so it shouldn't cost him too much. The Pistolers are overextending here quite a lot. Looks like they were still uh, going after Frog and Command groups. And they're going to get rushed here by more of the Berserkers and Skin Wolves, which isn't going to be a good time for them at all. However, Volkmar does prop the Gan Shield of Faith and the Grand Hammer of Sigma. Going to be buffing up all nearby troops here. Huntsman still doing fantastic damage to Frog overall. These guys, of course, do have that bonus versus large. So they can do some good work. But Skin Wolves are getting position on the right-hand flank. And Norskans are slowly starting to flood through. You can see the cavalry has also broken into the back lines here, which is pretty great stuff. Knights of the Blazing Sun gloriously charge out from the forest, springing at the trap and hammering into the Skin Wolves. Now, Skin Wolves can still do some okay damage back. But that fire damage really adds up, especially with the lovely charge bonus these guys get. You can see that unit got absolutely destroyed there. So it looks like the answer to Skin Wolves is burn them with fire. In the center pocket, the old mighty Volkmar and the Unbreakable Core managed to hold back the Fermir and Frog long enough that the Silver Bullets and Pistoliers could get in there and do some really solid work straight out the gate. A Spirit Leech is coming down though to try and counteract the Knights of the Blazing Sun who are once again rolling into the second unit of Skin Wolves and destroying them as well. Really great damage by these guys so far. 
up in the sky. We do have a Manticore Summon as the back lines of the Empire is starting to get a little bit uh, shady here. We have Skin Wolves dotted all over the place, as well as Berserkers and the Shaman Sorcerer kind of darting into the back line. But the Knights of the Blazing Sun being absolute world beaters here, charging into another unit of Skin Wolves and pushing them back. 13 kills only, but uh, huge damage all round is pretty good. In the back line here, Volkmar has been uh, caught up a little bit here by Femir Warriors. But he has the glorious Overwatch fire coming in from the Pistoliers to aid him and get him out of a rather sticky situation. Now, he is pretty tanky, so he could have survived a little while anyway. Norsecan Force is doing pretty good to push into the back line, but a lot of frog early days here is really going to make them suffer. As it looks like he is completely shattered in the distance. His uh, regeneration not going to help him out there. Skin Wolves have managed to pounce on top of some Pistoliers here, but is it a little bit too little too Death late? To the as the balance power is going quite heavily in the favour of the Children of Sigma here. Skin Wolves, though, are going to be at least tearing through some of these pistolers and feasting on their flesh. Should heal them up quite nicely. We hear a second Manticore Summon coming in as well. Now, keeping Manticore Summons in your back pocket can be pretty good. You can see we have two Manticores on the field right now, which massively inflates the balance of power and pushes our over to army losses, which is a good and, uh, you know, quite common tactic in the tournament scene however I think the game was pretty much over at that point anyway but well played to both of these players this was um, a game from the recent death before Dishonor which I believe Noob for Life actually did go all the way I don't want to kind of spoil um, the, the stream but he did get all the way through to at least the semi-finals you can go watch that out there uh, video should be uploaded I think yesterday so still hot uh, fresh if you want to see more action so yeah believe new life did go through in this series in the end but looks like consul rome managed to take uh, a big chunk out of him as well with the empire forces and the mvps here certainly the knights of the blazing sun tearing through those skin wolves and doing huge amounts of damage across the battle only 33 kills but they did chevron up and those 33 kills were pretty much all on werewolves which uh, of course means they had some good value and i'm actually quite a big fan of the build i would possibly Possibly drop one uh, or both the Empire Knights and change them into a Knights of the Blazing Sun here, as I think they're so much more potent in this matchup than the basic Empire Knights. However, the build was really good, an unbreakable front line to help protect the Huntsman and the Silver Bullets, and those guys can therefore deal the damage to the big nasty monsters and use Volkmar to clear through the chaff and uh, protect that front line just for a little while longer. So well played to both of these guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, feel free to give the video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't we cover all things total war warhammer based we've uh, got some exciting news as well i suppose uh youtube kind of contacted me and they're like hey you can have members on your channel now if you like so i accepted that as well so if you want to become a member of the channel feel free to uh, press the join button i think it is next to the subscribe button and uh, it'll run you through the details of that but again no worries if not i'm just happy to have you guys here and uh, tune in and watch them anyway guys until next time peace peace and as always stay awesome